Alright, alright, wow. check that out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, Detroit bass players in the house once again. This time we are sitting at the round table, of course, again, in the basement. In the basement we got my man, Mr. William Pope, second. <laughs> we also got sitting in the round table, one of our favorite Detroit bass players, the legend himself. JC, <laughs> Mr. Lamont Johnson. Oh yeah, enjoying it. Yeah. And we yeah. in the house, the basement. That's spelled B-A-S-S. <laughs> Mint M-I-N-T. <laughs> we over Reggie Cassie's house as usual, doing the round table. What's up, Reg? Uh -huh. We got another legendary bass player in the house. We're gonna talk to him a little bit later on. And his name is Ted. Uh, Brandon. Brandon. Ted Brandon. Wow, man. Another bass player, and oh, we got yeah. <laughs> we got the father uh -huh. of the phenom in the house. We got Mr. John Rose, Rose. John Rose, father of funk, <laughs> <laughs> father of <laughs> father of our special Detroit bass player here today, the legend, the myth himself, and he ain't even he ain't even fifteen yet. He, see, he ain't even 15 yet, and he already a legend. Of Mr. <laughs> Brandon Rose in the house. What's going on, bro? Nothing much. How you doing? I'm great. Nice uh, intro to take us in today, man. I got a couple of questions for you I want to ask you. And anytime you fellas want to chime in at the round table, don't hesitate, please. My first question for you is, like most of the bass players, is when did you start playing bass? Since most of us started at the age he is now, <laughs> when did you start playing? Um, well, I started when I was five. It was because of uh, this bass player at our church. Um, I used to make fun of him because it looked funny how he would go. What's his name? Brother Henry, Henry Robinson. Okay. So I would make fun of him like when he would dump and stuff. So I tapped my dad on the shoulder. I was like, I want to play bass. He's like, what you going to do with the bass? I was like, I don't play it. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else, um, and, and as you call the rest is history. Five yeah. years old, yeah. uh, five years old. Pops was it? Could he play? Was it too big for him? What happened? Uh, no, I bought him a standard side bass at uh, five years old. So he used to slide it down to hit the note and yeah. push it back up. <laughs> 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 wow, how creative is that? <laughs> so, so in essence, you've already been playing for nine, ten years already. Yeah. Wow. Um, name, who, who, who are some of your uh, favorite bass players, uh, well, local? For one, uh, Marcus Miller, most definitely. Uh, then Victor Wooten, Stanley Clark, etc. Etc. Et why, uh, why, why Marcus Miller? I just like his style, like, kind of, like, catchy. Yeah. When did you start uh, listening to Marcus Miller? Right when I started taking lessons from uh, Henry Robinson. Oh, yeah. And, uh... I, heard, I think I heard about you a couple of years ago, uh, maybe four years ago, I just heard about this cat, this 10-year-old cat uh, named Brandon Rose. He's like, go look on YouTube, and you see some work with him. And I was like, my, my uh, jaw dropped when I heard you <laughs> at, at 10 years old, and it was it was totally amazing, man. Um, wow. How, when did you know that you had the gift? to, to uh, excel on the bass? I, <laughs> I, I don't even know. You don't know? Mm -mm. When did you start, when did you start feeling like I got it right? I'm doing, I'm doing something right. Uh, you know? The first time I played for Word of Faith, that that's the church I go to, Word of Faith International Christian Center, but the first time I played for them, it kind of hit me. But. Yeah, now, how long ago was that? When you were? Uh, seven. Seven. You played for the church at seven years old yeah. on the bass guitar? I'm so jealous already. Seven years old. Okay, now, I, one day I was on the internet and I just punched your name in and your name just started popping up all over the place. Uh, you've been here, you've been doing this. When, when did everybody catch on to Brandon Rose as being like this special bass player? When did that happen? When did that happen? Uh, Marcus Miller did an interview for Bass Player Live and actually for Bass Player Magazine, and he mentioned him in the interview. Oh, really? Yes, and that's when yeah. everything really started. Yeah, and so what have you done uh, since you've been playing? You played for church? Uh, have you? Are you in a band? Well, I'm trying to get 
our band back together to like do some gigs but recently I've been playing at Triumph uh, Youth Church like for the youth choir with uh, Dana Davis Ooh. oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, and so what have you done? I, I, I've seen you at uh, in California. I've seen you at all of these. Uh, 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 what do they call them? The Nam shows. Yeah, Nam yeah. shows and uh, bass player. Bass player conventions. I've seen you at the Detroit uh, bass fest. Fest. bass fest uh, as a guest and everything. Tell me, what have you done so far that you can recall? You, I've, you've done a lot of things, but what can you recall? The Ralph Armstrong show was recently. Uh, he just called me and told me he wanted me to be on the show. I did two songs. On the Ralph Armstrong show, what else you been on? Um, Triumph, of course. Um, other than that, well, bass player live in uh, what October? Uh, that was. Sure. What else? Don't forget Bobby Jones. Oh yeah, Bobby Jones. The Bobby Jones gospel on yeah, BET. Yeah. Mhm. Mm um. The townhouse. The town. The townhouse. Uh, down in California with uh, Andre Boucher. Oh, okay. Uh, Chaka Khan's music director. Uh -huh. Okay. And among other things. Um. Uh, what is that you have in your hand, man? Those strings look like a bright. Is, are those strings red? What's going on? Um. There, these are red devils. It's my babies. <laughs> but uh, they just they. I just like them. Uh, I don't know. If, Anybody else like them? People say that I'm crazy for having them red, bring your red devils. But um, they just sound good. Yes, yes church. they do. They sound good. I don't know if it's the strings, but I think it's the player. But but they sound good. And what kind of bass is that you got? Uh, Fender Jazz Five Deluxe. American, uh, American Jazz. Good. And, and it looks like I see a little signature on the end of that. I don't know if it's coming through the cab. Uh, through the camera, but uh, is that a signature on there? Yes, Marcus Miller. He signed that bass, mm -hmm. and and I know you got a regular Marcus Miller too, right? Yeah. How many bases you got, man? One, two, three, four, five. Well, four, but five counting the my first bases. Oh, what kind of bass is your first bass? A toy. That's <laughs> 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 right. Dig, uh, <sighs> man, um, I got a question for you, um. What is it that you uh, want to do with this bass? What, what plans do you have? Uh, you want to keep playing this thing, or you got other aspirations? Uh? Like half and half. I want to like be like a money manager or a coach for like basketball, but I want to like record with this bass and tour and stuff. And tour and stuff uh, as a solo artist or a part of a group. It don't matter. So, Lars, I, I, do you have an album out yet? You working on something? I'm working on it, but this guy <laughs> <laughs> won't let me record. <laughs> he won't let you record yet? That might be good. Yeah. <laughs> that might be a good thing. Well, yeah, keeping everything tight. Make sure you are. Uh, you still getting uh, straight A's in school? and A's and B's. A's and B's. Right. That's, that's still a good average. Yes, and and uh, what grade are you in now? Eighth. And they, that's all, man. And the eighth grade, this boy said, <laughs> I, I swear, hey, I swear, that's grade. when I started playing the bass. Is in the eighth grade. This man. dude got nine years under his belt already. Man, I tell you what, I'm, I'm gonna kind of let you go here, man. And um, I have a question. Um, oh wait, before we got some more questions here. Do you do you have any endorsements? Um, DR strings. DR strings. Yeah, uh, Fender bases and SWR and Already. That, that bag, gig bag with GIG. GIGI. Something like that. I think it's iGig. Yeah, iGig. I like iPod. But <laughs> well, that's that's great. How, how did they come about though? Did you did you go come uh, to them or did they come to you? Oh. Uh, we kind of, it was started at NAM, like our first year going to NAM. Okay. So we just kind of maneuvered around where we wanted to go. And and they so asked you yeah. as you appeared at their booths, I'm yeah. going to have to go to, to the NAM show. Hey. Yeah, that's what you got to do. Speaking of endorsements, I'd like to like, shout out to DR Strings, Anthony, um, the whole Fender family, and the SWR family for, you know, helping me. Okay, now, now the, uh, one place I've been seeing you constantly is on this page called the Detroit Bass Players page. Mm. What made you get on that page? Mm. The Detroit Bass Players page on Facebook. What made you join it? Mm. Carrie. Carrie. Carrie Lacey. Carrie Lacey. 
All right, you're making this interview hard with these yeah. one-word answers. There. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to say uh, before we play you out? i like to thank Marcus Miller, Dana Davis, Lynn, Lynn Davis, Henry Robinson, uh, Pope, uh, <laughs> my dad, my mom, my, my whole family, and uh, mm -hmm. Can't take okay, and you, do you have a website we can come and check you out and keep up with you on? Nothing. Facebook. Just Facebook. Uh, that's www.facebook.com slash Brandon Rose. Slash Brandon Rose. Okay, man. Well, we're going to let you go. Uh, we hope you stay for the rest of these interviews and join us in the round table. Can you do that? Yes. Oh, well, just play us something out, man. Just, uh, I'd like to say one, one thing before you, before you start. You know, first, I want to thank, I want to thank Brandon just for coming back as you're looking at a guy who was ill a couple of years ago and had completely given up playing bass. And I'm inspired by this group. Even the wow. group, the part of the group that I don't see. Because now I've got the energy to do it. And I'm retired and I've got okay. the time to do it. And you have an amazing set of accomplishments to be Thanks. your age, man. I'm proud of you, though. Thanks, Ray. <laughs> All right, man. Sure. We'll, do, we'll play us out some, just a little bit of some. Uh, and uh, for you, those who don't know, we're going to interview this guy here in a minute. But... This guy's indirectly, I've uh, decided to call him the grandfather teacher of uh, Brandon Rose because he taught, he taught the guy who taught Brandon Rose how to play. So he's going to accompany Brandon Rose. They're going to do a little bit of something here that, that take us out. I can't see both of y'all bases, but go ahead. Improv, don't it?